Hey guys, um, in my previous video uh, I did about mega churches, uh, I had somebody comment and say uh, there's some guy called Robert Jeffress that has a mega church of, I think he said it was like 14,000 people, and this guy claimed that he preached the right gospel. And, you know, I had doubts, so I looked the guy up, and here he is, and I actually recognize him. Um, I don't have a television anymore. I haven't had a TV for years, but I remember that this guy, at least, you know, five, six years ago, he would go on, like, Fox News a lot, and he probably still does. But anyways, this guy's a Southern Baptist, and the Southern Baptists, uh, they think you have to repent of your sins to be saved, and, and they're Calvinists, and that's their official position. Um you know, of their convention is that you have to repent of your sins to be saved. And now they're, you know, they don't even use the, the King James Bible anymore. And they're starting to lean towards Calvinism. And, you know, so I'm thinking, like, there's no way this guy's going to preach right. <laughs> and here's proof. And what he's going to say is Calvinism, okay? And I'm going to point out, but I'm going to let the, the tape roll for a little bit here. He fell into that belief that nobody can know for sure. Why is it that people doubt they're Christians? Why do they doubt whether or not they're going to heaven? Sometimes it's the conviction of the Holy Spirit of God. As we talk for these next few moments, there's something inside of you that is going to create doubt of whether or not you're truly saved. That something is someone called the Holy Spirit of God. And he is speaking to you. John 16, 8 says, And when the Spirit comes, he will convict the world concerning sin, righteousness, and judgment to come. Sometimes it's the Holy Spirit's conviction that causes us to doubt our salvation. We doubt we're saved because, in fact, we're not saved. Another cause of doubt in the Christian life can be a contradiction of lifestyle. When we profess to be saved, new people in Christ... But we're living in a way that contradicts that profession. It creates doubt in our hearts. Some of you right now profess to be a Christian. But there is a secret sin in your life that you hope nobody finds out about. You're trying to hold on to your profession of faith, but you're also trying to hold on to your disobedience. After 40 years of pastoring, can I share a secret with you? You won't be able to hold on to both very long. You can't hold on to your profession and your disobedience for a long period of time. You'll either give up your profession of faith or you'll give up your disobedience. But you can't hold on to both. A third reason people doubt their salvation is because of the confusion of salvation itself. A lot of people have a man-centered view. Okay, look. What that guy just said was Calvinism, and it was Lordship Salvation. It's perseverance of the saints, and uh, it, it's heresy. It gets you to look at uh, your own works as proof that you're saved. And no, the proof that you're saved is that you believe the gospel. And, you know, there's been many people throughout history that have been saved and struggled with, with sin. I mean, we read about people in the Bible, um, you know, David was an adulterer. He had, what, six wives, and he, you know, he never repented of that. Solomon, saved guy, had over 700 wives, okay? He never repented of that. He's in heaven right now. Uh, Saul, King Saul, lived, especially, you know, towards the end, where he was just, you know, persecuting David all the time and trying to kill David and... and you know, doing all sorts of wicked stuff, and he ends up killing himself, and King Saul's in heaven right now, okay? And, you know, King Saul had a terrible lifestyle. Um, so, again, Lordship Salvation is false, and what that guy preached was heresy. And um, 
it wouldn't surprise me if that, that's what that guy's trusting in is his, his own works. Um, you know, your lifestyle can, can change from day to day, but your salvation's forever, okay? If you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, you're saved. And, you know, for you to uh, for, you, for you to think that your lifestyle is proof that you're, it just proves that you're, you're not trusting in Jesus Christ. And you, you think that, that what Jesus Christ did was not sufficient. And that you have you somehow have to top that with your lifestyle. And this guy's a stinking heretic. He's a Calvinist. And um, by the way, the Southern Baptist Convention, the whole reason they were formed um, was to defend slavery. Look it up, okay? So, you know, their foundation had nothing to do with the gospel of Jesus Christ. It had to do with defending slavery. And that's a piss-poor foundation, okay? And... It doesn't surprise me at all that an organization that started um, literally to defend slavery, uh, you know, that they that they promote a false gospel that makes people better than others, and you know, and and also check it out. The official position of the Southern Baptist Church is that you have to repent of your sins to be saved. I don't recommend uh, Southern Baptist Church to anybody, and you know, I just wish they would take Baptists off their name because they're not. And most of them are just rank heretics. Okay, and if there is some Southern Baptist pastor somewhere that preaches faith alone, why are you hanging out with goobers like this guy? And why are you giving money to, you know, the convention that goes around preaching heresy, preaching lordship, salvation, telling you have to repent of your sins to be saved, uh, attacking the King James Bible, um, and all sorts of other things, okay? But anyways, uh... I hope this was an eye-opener for somebody. Take care.